So good evening, everybody. Uh, I will try to be as fast as possible together with my colleague Andrzej, because I suppose uh, everybody is tired. But I am afraid we're going to be in uh, some technical tr trouble. But we will see, because uh, I suppose to have a logo on the first page, but I don't have any. So we will see. OK. Uh, our history is a bit longer than uh, uh, in case of uh, national parks we uh, just have been presented. Uh, we've been established in uh, 1963 and uh, our Polish colleagues are even older than we are. Uh, they, were, uh, they were founded in uh, 1959. So that's why our presentation will be a little bit longer than previous. I hope you are very happy. <laughs> you have 35 minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, well, so I'm not going to mention any information on, uh, uh, on the national park, uh, Karkonoše. Uh, I'm not going to mention what, uh, which animals live up there, because uh, we saw nice pictures of uh, lynx, for instance. We, we got some also in the national park. We are uh, pretty happy about that because uh, lynx came uh, after 200 years uh, when uh, was extinct from uh, from the area. Uh, we try to uh, uh, be oriented just on uh, uh, mutual implemented projects. So when we have started with our projects, uh, we just set up uh, our aims, our main aims. So main aim of a national park is uh, uh, to maintain natural value, uh, also support sustainable tourism. We heard a lot about that, so I'm not going to mention our troubles with the numbers of people coming to the national park because uh, we found some figures from Shumava and uh, the other national parks, which are around 3 or 3.5 million people. So be aware that uh, to, to our national park, uh, every year uh, almost 8 million people coming to enjoy nature. Uh, uh, Andrzej told me that uh, the figures probably going to be bigger after this season, so we will see. Uh, definitely, we, our aim is cooperate in environmental education. Uh, definitely, we have to ensure uh, proper tools for uh, nature protection. We will mention some of them uh, during our presentation. We need to share data uh, to protect uh, a specific part of nature. And definitely, last but not least, we would like to uh, cooperate between institution uh, and employees. Some of examples you will see during our presentation. Sorry. Andrei, it's your turn. Dame a panowie, dobry podwieczer. Ja ne budu mówić czeski, ale ne obawejte se, ja ne budu mówić polski, także. I am going to continue in English uh, as well as I can. Uh, also, we achieved a common approach for nature conservation many years ago, we, which was very important for our region. We haven't had common logo. We had completely different logo and idea was born many years ago we work for this process for a long time, but finally we decided to create joint logo for us, for people from surrounded area, for everybody who wants to work for Karkonosha Mountains. I will show you short, oh no, how to? I don't know how it's going, that, maybe this way. Yeah, this is, I would like to show you short film from it, it was already there. Uh -huh. okay. We have to go back. Uh -huh. okay. 
this over there. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. Oh, this is short process from our work. As you can see, we have only small difference bet between our logo. Uh, but first of all, we have common mountain, Śnieżka, because at the past we had completely different uh, design. And uh, now we have uh, two species, most important species, uh, Gentiana sclepiadea, which is most important for the Czech side, and Campanula corcontica, which is very important not for Polish side. Our staff decided to put this species for our logo. Uh, why we need join logo? My answer is for, first of all, for better co communication between our staff, between our uh, people, uh, to strengthen awareness of people that Karkonosze is geographically one region, not divided by boundary. Uh, and of course, to be really one transboundary national park. Uh, this was the main reason to create, in my opinion, to create joint log. So we joined uh, quite a lot of projects. Uh, we joined uh, six big projects within operational program uh, for transboundary cooperation, Czech and Poland. You see some figures, and we uh, were running also seven micro projects. Uh, nowadays, we are getting ready for uh, uh, new projects. Uh, uh, definitely, we uh, are just in a procedure of evaluation right now, uh, so we will see how it's going to be successful. Okay. Uh. Referring to the title of our presentation, I would like to mention what very, one uh, very important thing. Uh, one friend of mine, a few years ago, said to me, cooperation without money is only conversation. That we need money for very well cooperation. The first project I would like to explain you is uh, Karkonosze in Inspire, a joint geese in nature protection. For many years, we used completely different classification, for example, for phytosociological classification, typological classification, uh, geomorphological classification, and one day we decided to harmonize this data because we use completely, we discuss in completely different languages. And uh, 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 we decided to choose uh, uh, special term like Natura 2000, especially uh, classification of habitat of Natura 2000, species, uh, f uh, flora, wetland ecosystems, forestry, especially typological classification, geology, geomorphology, pedology and uh, recognize common ecological corridors. And the um, uh, last term was tourist movement in our uh, region. Uh, uh, you can see the different, but we can see a technical problem. Oh, no workshop. I would, we would like to show you a few uh, slides, uh, but we, the result of this project was, uh, uh, of course it was many results, but, but one of them was uh, 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 we've got uh, uh, laser scanning uh, or, or DG is, uh, I would like, 
laser sc sc scanning data. And uh, we have also uh, uh, very important uh, geo portal, which can uh, very, which is very useful for, for example, for students, for scientists. They can get very easy uh, data from from both side of uh, Karkonosha Mountains. Uh, we decided to translate classification from the Czech classification to the Polish and from the Polish to the Czech, and also we use also international classification. We, the, the process was very long. We uh, invited many specialists from the uh, both sides of Karkonosha Mountains, from, from many uh, different universities. It took a long time, but finally we really have a very well uh, harmonized uh, data from both sides of Karkonosha Mountains. Yeah, here maybe we could mention even some eco-counters we have established in, in a national park. Uh, uh, I mentioned already that uh, uh, the visitor management is a uh, uh, big issue in a national park. Well, our main, uh, uh, main task was uh, to create uh, the set of uh, information and data about uh, some uh, uh, species we have uh, uh, chosen, but definitely uh, we have chosen some species or animals uh, indicating the quality of, of a natural environment. That's why we have chosen uh, butterflies, birds, and bats. We also uh, were uh, interesting in uh, the data on uh, uh, migration routes and uh, requirements and behavior of red deer. We, we have heard during today quite a lot of information on red deer, and uh, those informations are also inf uh, very important uh, uh, in in our national park. Well, so we found uh, bio indicator groups uh, on Czech and Polish sites. Uh, we, we have tried to uh, find uh, relevant data for a kind of decision-making process in, in both uh, national parks. And we would like to, uh, or we, we have done uh, a complex data, uh, data evaluation, and uh, we try to uh, prepare uh, management uh, planning system for forest and, and non-forest ecosystems. Well, I'm sorry for, for uh, uh, those technical troubles, uh, but uh, there were some pictures of the bio indicators, as I mentioned. I don't know why, it's, why it doesn't work. So uh, they were presented, we, we have uh, printed out uh, a kind of uh, books uh, uh, aimed to, uh, uh, which were oriented to the sp uh, those groups of animals. Uh, we have been monitored. So uh, some of our colleagues mentioned that uh, we have already prepared uh, uh, the books of uh, uh, birds, uh, butterflies, bats, and uh, uh, the last book we have printed out uh, was about uh, uh, red deers, as I mentioned. Uh, I, I will continue with uh, another project. Uh, I hope I will not have any trouble with the uh, with the uh, uh, with the pictures, right? Uh, Development of touristic, uh, tourist infrastructure in, in Krnap and Kapen. Uh, we have developed uh, uh, some tourist offers uh, at less exposed localities in Krkonoše. I mentioned already that uh, 8 million people in a national park is quite a lot. So we try to attract uh, some places which are not uh, highly visited right now. We try to uh, tell people that uh, not only the mountain ridges are important to visit and see. That's why we have uh, tried to restore uh, our monastery garden and uh, we put to the monastery garden 
for instance, uh, geological ex uh, exhibition, uh, educational and uh, relax uh, relaxing uh, pavilion, and some uh, herb beds where you can find uh, interesting uh, species uh, which are uh, normally living in, inside the National Park, but you can find it also in, in, those, uh, gar in this garden. Uh, on the other border, uh, other side of the border, uh, in Karpac, uh, uh, our Polish colleagues, they have been renovating a uh, building from 19th century and uh, they create, th created their uh, geological trails again and uh, they uh, were oriented on medicinal herbs and shrubs. So those are some pictures from the project. Wow, that works. So uh, you see uh, a geological exhibition and here you see our monastery uh, and uh, also those, those, uh, uh, those spaces for uh, the plants, uh, endangered, endangered plants you can find in, in a garden. This is the picture uh, from, from Poland. Uh, as I mentioned, they uh, restored informational center in a very old building and uh, they create up there uh, a lot of projects on uh, ecological education uh, and uh, her, uh, uh, those, uh, uh, those herbs I mentioned uh, already before. So, Andrzej. Join education of our staff. Um, uh, although our languages are very similar, but sometimes we can understand each other. If we speak a uh, scientific language uh, or technical language, we, we, we recognize that we need much more uh, uh, knowledge from the Polish and Czech language. We decided to create joint project for the for our staff, that Polish staff learn Czech language and at the same time our colleagues learn Polish. I, I, I hope this process will continue in the next step of our project because it's really very useful. Uh, we created also a, a week-long exchange of expert. Some people from one side came to the another side for, for one weekend uh, uh, and they learn how we can help each other. Of course, uh, training in the professional subject, it was very uh, important, uh, especially in forestry, in nature conservation, in GIS, developing of GIS system, and uh, uh, other. As a product, we have a very good uh, dictionary uh, with typical term uh, term terminological dictionary for, uh, of words technical words or, or difficult words from both sides. The result of this, uh, uh, this project was very well. Uh, the first of all, it created better friendship be between our colleagues from both sides. It created more common project. It created be better communication and of course, more people involved in cooperation, uh, included to, uh, to the process of cooperation. So those are some pictures from the, the project Andre mentioned right now. For instance, this is a picture of a dictionary he mentioned. Well, the ecological education is uh, definitely a big issue of uh, both national parks. Uh, we have tried to uh, start cooperate uh, very early on the basis of ecological education. Uh, we, made, we made a kind of uh, pilot project. Uh, uh, the data of, the, of this pilot project you see 
uh, on the screen. Uh, there are some pictures of, uh, of children uh, applying this, uh, those courses. But we also need to create uh, new programs. Uh, uh, to provide ecological education is not an easy, uh, easy job. And uh, we know that uh, those program, programs must be very sophisticated and uh, must be uh, sometimes at least uh, a part, uh, partly funny. So we try to create definitely very good uh, uh, programs for, uh, especially for uh, children. Okay. Our rangers, our uh, people very often go to the mountains and very often our uh, rangers witness with mountains accident. We have of, uh, from the both side mountains rescue, but uh, if the people, if our rangers meet accident, they should help uh, people. Uh, from on the Polish side, it's very important that from the beginning of 2012, we are responsible for security of our tourists coming to the national park that we decided to, to organize two step of special project together with our colleagues from Mountains Rescue. They help us how we should help people during uh, accident. And uh, the, it was very important training for national park staff in the winter and summer pe period. We were equipping staff with medical materials, first aid kits. We created also joint trauma traumatological plan. And very important, we mark marking around 180 places with signed pots with unique code to allow the rapid localization of the patients in the case of emergency. It was very important because some people, as you can see on this slide, if the people can uh, see this special code, they can call where they are exactly because not everybody can localize it by, by GPS or other equipment. So, uh, nowadays we are getting ready new projects uh, and uh, our aim is uh, to increase the intensity of cooperation between both national parks uh, uh, and what, what we have to do. Uh, first of all, we have to analyze uh, our uh, leg legislative framework uh, in the field of uh, nature protection. That's very important. We know uh, basically what are the differences, but uh, we need uh, precise where are uh, those differences which could be uh, make some troubles in the future. Uh, we have to continue with the sharing of data. Uh, sharing of data is uh, one of the biggest tasks uh, to the future and we have to be able to share the data. That's why we harmonize the data. Uh, we've been asked uh, by Ministry of Environment to follow uh, some of the national park. We, we, we have uh, heard here the information from Bavarian National Park that they have already uh, social economic analyze, but uh, we are getting ready this analyze, and we uh, definitely are uh, uh, right now uh, expecting some, uh, some, informa some information whether this project were, uh, was successful or not. We have to create a joint strategy for the management of national park. It doesn't matter whether is it in, in the forest or in non-forest ecosystems. Uh, we would like to continue also uh, in uh, our ability to speak uh, uh, Polish and Czech languages. Uh, definitely we would like to train our people uh, on both sides of, of the border. Uh, we would like to uh, 
uh, issuing a magazine to inform uh, a public uh, and uh, uh, last but not least we would like to visit uh, national parks in Czech Republic and Poland to learn best practice uh, best practices from uh, both countries so that's it yeah. thank you, thank you.